Welcome! My name is Henrik. I'm also known as the Swedish Hockey Card Collector. In this video I will give you my take on the top 10 NHL players of the 90s. I would also love to see your take on the top 10 NHL players of the 90s in the comments. Number 10 on the list is Eric Lindros. Lindros had imposing physical strength and great playmaking abilities. He led the feared Legend of Doom line in Philadelphia together with Leclerc and Rainberg. His physical play caused him many injuries and concussions. These problems meant that Lindros probably never reached his full potential in the NHL. Lindros won the Hart Trophy in 1995 and led the Flyers to the Stanley Cup final in 1997. However, the Flyers were swept by the Red Wings in four games. Number 9 on the list is Joe Sakic. Sakic became the captain of the Quebec Nordiques in 1992-1993. That year the Nordiques made it to the playoffs for the first time in six years. This was a sign of great things to come. In 1995 the Nordiques moved to Denver and became the Colorado Avalanche. In the same season Sakic led the team to win the Stanley Cup. He was awarded the Conn Smythe Trophy as the MVP of the playoffs. Number 8 on the list is Marc Messier. Messier managed to win the Stanley Cup with two different teams during the 90s. In 1990 he won with the Oilers, in 1994 he won with the Rangers. In 1996 and 1997 Messier and Gretzky were reunited in the New York Rangers. Messier and Gretzky led the Rangers to the Eastern Conference Final but were eliminated by the Flyers. This would also be these two great players' last appearance in the playoffs. Messier also won two hot trophies in the 90s. Number 7 on the list is Jaromir Jager. Jager had a magic decade in the 90s. He had incredible skills, charm, dedication and a great mullet. During the 90s he won three Art Ross trophies, one Hart trophy and one Lindsay trophy. In addition to this he started his NHL career winning back-to-back -back Stanley Cup championships in 1991 and 1992. Number 6 on the list is Patrick Roy. Roy is without a doubt my favorite goalie ever. He was incredible in the 1993 Stanley Cup playoffs. The Canadians' victory in the 1993 Stanley Cup was largely due to Roy's stellar goaltending. He then went on to lead the Colorado Avalanche to their first Stanley Cup victory. St. Patrick also won two Vesnia trophies in the 90s. If you haven't already hit the like button and the subscribe button, I would be very happy if you do so before we get into the top 5 of the list. Number 5 on the list is Brett Hall. Hall was the player who scored by far the most goals in the NHL during the 90s. He scored a total of 512 goals and was the league's best scorer three seasons in a row at the start of the 90s. Hall won the Hart Trophy and Lindsay Award in 1991. He also won the Stanley Cup with Dallas in 1999 after scoring the winning goal in overtime. Number 4 on the list is Steve Iserman. 
Iserman was Detroit's leader and captain throughout the 90s. He is a Red Wings icon and widely considered as one of the greatest players of all time. Iserman were very important when the Red Wings won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups in 1997 and 1998. He also won the Conn Smythe Trophy in 1998. Number 3 on the list is Wayne Gretzky. Gretzky dominated the NHL in the 80s. In the 90s he played for the Kings, Blues and Rangers. And he did not achieve the same success in the playoffs. However, he led all players in points during the 90s. Gretzky scored a total of 1,020 points and he won two Art Ross trophies and four Lady Bing trophies. Overall, he was one of the NHL's best players during the 90s. Number two on the list is Dominic Hasek. The Dominator was the best netminder of the 90s in my opinion. He won five Vesnia trophies and two Hart trophies. Hasek had this to say about his unorthodox style of play. They say I'm unorthodox. I flop around the ice like some kind of fish. I say who cares as long as I stop the puck. Number one on the list is Mario Lemieux. Lemieux missed three seasons and many games in two other seasons due to cancer and injuries. Despite that, he managed to perform fantastic ice hockey when he was healthy. He managed to score over two points per game and he also won two Stanley Cups with the Penguins. In addition to this, he also won two Conn Smythe trophies, four Art Ross trophies, two Hart trophies and two Lindsay trophies. Thank you for watching this video. I'm glad to be able to share my passion for hockey cards and the NHL with you. If you also love hockey cards and the NHL, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I post content related to hockey cards and the NHL several times every week. To the next time I see you, have a nice day and take care.